Good morning, children. So today we'll do the questions and answers of Browning's version. Yes. So we begin with the first question. Comment on the attitude shown by Tableau towards Crocker Harris. Okay. Now the answer for this question. Tableau is respectful towards Crocker Harris. See, he's very strict. He gives him extra work, but still he likes him. And likes him for his principles because Crocker Harris is a man of principles. He's strict. He follows the rules, regulations. That is the reason Taplow likes him. He criticizes him, criticizes him for being a feelingless person, yet regards him as an extraordinary master. He is mortally afraid of him and dare not cut the extra work even on the last day of the term because he thinks his marks may be deducted, he may get a bad grade. That is why he does not dare to disobey him. So now the second question, question number 2. Does Frank seem to encourage Taplow's comments on Crocker Harris? Answer. Yes, Frank seems to encourage Taplow's comments on Crocker Harris. He shows appreciation for Taplow's imitation. So he shows appreciation for Taplow's imitation of Mr. Crocker Harris and asks him to repeat it on smother. On another occasion, Frank tells Taplow not to keep a good joke narrated in the style of Mr. Crocker Harris to himself but to tell it to others. These jokes is something you share with others. Question 3. What do you gather about Crocker Harris from the play? What do you learn about him? That is what the question means. Mr. Crocker Harris appears as a STEM master who is a man of principles and stickler to the rules. That means he sticks to his rules. He believes in fair assessment of his students. That means he is impartial and is not swayed by emotions, emotions, feelings, as the man is hardly human. He is not a sadist. He is not a, he is not a sadist. Who? Mr. Crocker Harris. But strict in performance of his studies, even on his last day at school, when he is over busy in his own affairs, he does not neglect his duty towards his students. He never neglects his duty towards the students. Okay. Now discuss with your partners, he says. Since it is COVID now, you cannot discuss with your partner. So, you discuss with your own self and try to make out whether the, you are right or wrong. Talking about teachers among friends, commenting on their teachers is something that most students do. But this is wrong. Students are quite intelligent and keen observers. Teachers are their role models and the students judge their performance. Not only on the basis of their mastery over the subject, but also by their method of teaching, communication skills, interaction with students and their general nature and behavior. Teachers must not feel offended to learn the nickname their dear students have showered upon them. Teachers may sometimes think that the boys don't understand anything. But this is wrong. Talking about teachers among friends is a favorite pastime of students. They appreciate their virtues means good qualities and condemn their shortcomings. Even strict persons win the love and admiration of students if they are men of principles. Like here you see Mr. Crocker Harris. He was admired by all his students. Okay, the manner you adopt when you talk about a teacher to other teachers. We should be respectful and polite when we talk about a teacher to other teachers. Normal courtesy requires that we should add Mr., Miss or Mrs. before the name of a teacher and use his or her full name. Yes, a teacher should never be mentioned by the nickname he or she has been given. It is wrong on the part of the students. Yes. In other words, our approach should be quite formal. The dignity of a teacher should not be lowered before another. Even if the person being talked about lacks some qualities you like most, our remark should never be derogatory or rude. That means something bad. It is bad manners to run down our teachers 
and especially so if it is done in the presence of prior actions as well as words. So it is wrong. The other teachers may form a very low and unfavorable opinion about us on the basis of a lapse on our part. Hence, we must be extra cautious, cautious, careful during our interactions with our teachers. Never criticize anyone. Okay, reading plays is more interesting than studying science. For some it may be so, but not all. Science is based on the study of some facts, concepts, principles and their application. It demands cool reasoning and concentration of mind to solve numerical problems and to balance complicated equations. You have such types of questions in science, physics, chemistry, yes? One has to be alert, regular, systematic and punctual. If we miss one class, we miss the link. Because all, uh, uh, what you say, chapters are interlinked, especially in science. On the other hand, reading plays provides us more amusement. You enjoy reading plays. That is amusement. Most of the plays contain a beautiful plot and a number of characters with diverse traits. Their actions, reactions and interactions provide a lot of fun and laughter and make the reading of the play very interesting. Witty dialogues. Witty means full of intelligence. Witty dialogues, irony of situations and intricacies of plots. Intricacies making it very complicated. Makes the play full of humanity and quite absorbing, interesting. We never feel bored while reading a play. Every dialogue or action unfolds something new and we eagerly wait for what is to follow next. The study of science proves dull and cold as compared to the interesting reading of plays. What do you learn about tableau? So what do you learn about tableau from the initial conversation between him and Mr. Frank? Taplo is a boy of 16. That means he's 16 years old. He's still in the lower fifth. He can't specialize until the next term if he gets his form or division all right. That means he should get good division, good grades. Since his master, Mr. Crocker Harris, has not told him the result, he will have to wait till the next day to learn his fate. You know that he's like sir, says Taplo. What leads him to say so? So the answer. Taplo does not know if he has got his form. It is because his master Crocker Harris like the other masters. He's a bit different. When Frank says that the rule says that form results should only be announced by headmaster on the last day of the term. That means you get your marks card, isn't it? It is that. Tab, that is the results. Tableau says that none else except Mr. Crocker Harris pays attention to it. This shows that the man is a stickler to the rules. That means stickler to the rules means he sticks to the rules. He follows it. He follows all the rules, regulations. That is why he is admired by one and all. So that is all for today children. Please note down all the questions and answers in your notebook. I hope you are doing so. Go through all the questions and answers. But before that, read the lesson once again. And I have already told you, whenever you come across a difficult word, because you must know the meaning. Sometimes what happens, if you do not know the meaning, you cannot understand the lesson. And if you do not know the meaning, sometimes it so happens you are not able to answer a particular question. Especially when you get such questions like, what does the word this mean? So you will not know the answer. That is the reason I keep emphasizing on this particular point. So that's all for this session. Thank you.